Today on Max Handy Gadgets, we're back in the workshop fixing the 5G Wi-Fi network on this old Toshiba laptop. And we're going to be using a Wi-Fi card to do it. So let's get started. Yeah, so recently the 5G network came to our area. New cable, new fibers, new fiber optic cables, new routers, it works, you know. Sounds good, right? Not so good for the old laptop here. The old Toshiba laptop couldn't see the networks. So that's why we got to upgrade to this new Wi-Fi board with the 5G on here. It's 2.4 and 5G. Plus this one has Bluetooth, which the old laptop don't have, so it's an upgrade. So that's good. Let's see if we can get it to work. Plus we upgraded our memory to from 8 gigs, I think it was, to 16. And we upgraded our battery because the old one was kind of losing it. It wasn't lasting very long at all. So we upgraded the battery. So let's get into it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see them or not, but they're supposed to be Wi-Fi networks right there that start with A-L-H-N. I don't see any. So that means we can't see them. This old laptop can't see them. So hopefully when we install the new Wi-Fi card, we'll be able to see them and everything will be okay. This old laptop will come back to life. Yeah, I also downloaded the drivers for the new Wi-Fi board. You can see there, I got the Windows 10 and Windows 11 Wi-Fi driver for the board or the card. And I also have the Bluetooth driver that comes with that card. So hopefully everything will work out all right. And if we don't need them, Windows uh, update may provide them for us when we plug it in and start it up. Yeah, let me see if I can get you the number off this Wi-Fi card. If you can read it. Let's flip it over. It looks to be that number down the bottom there. AX200 HMW. Now if you look that up on Intel website there, you'll find your drivers for that and the Bluetooth for this. So, that's pretty good. Let's plug it in, see if it works. Okay. Yeah, now before we can start to install these Wi-Fi boards or cards, we're gonna have to shut it down. And take out the battery. All right, let's unplug it. We'll just go ahead and flip it over. And take out the battery. And flip it back over. And I think the Wi Fi card is under the keyboard on this one. So let's get started. Yeah, I think uh, the Wi Fi card is under the keyboard here, so. I think we ought to be able to pop this out. And these little, got a little trim here. There you go. Now, the, I think it's under the keyboard, so we're, I think it needs, it has some screws that need to come out. Probably Phillips, yep. All right, we'll take these out.
think there's only four of them, wasn't there? Yep. Yep, four of them. And a keyboard should just lift right up and out. There is a ribbon cable on the back, though. Yep, a little ribbon cable. Maybe we could just set it out of the way. There's your Wi-Fi board right there, the old one. So let me see if I can bring it a little closer and we'll get that out of there. All right, let's see if we can get these antenna wires off here. Okay, that one popped off. That one popped off. Okay. Now all we have to do is take out that screw. And we don't want to drop it down in there. Now that is spring loaded under there. It snaps in like you would any other memory card or whatever. But now this should just come right out. Just like that. Anyway, there it is. There's the two antenna ports. And that's the old Wi-Fi card. I don't know if you can read that number, but man, is that tiny. Okay, let's put the new one in. Okay, let's see what's in the box. The new one, the new Wi-Fi card. Natalie? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce that. Definitely a, a new upgrade for the Wi-Fi card. So let's get this put in and see how it works. Yeah, now all we have to do is see if we can put that in there, the new Wi-Fi card. Okay, let's see if we can get it in there. Okay, it's in. And it's spring loaded, so now all we have to do is hold down on it and put that screw in. And hook up the antenna wires. Now these can be tricky. Okay, that one's hooked up. And now we gotta find out if we can get this one. There you go. They snapped on. And there you have it. Now we got the Wi-Fi card in. And the antennas are all snapped in place. We just put our keyboard back. Put our screws in. Put our little trim piece back. Okay, it snapped in. Now we just 
flip it over, put our battery in, our new battery, okay. And hopefully this works. Plug it in. And let's start him up. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that or not, but guess what? We're connected to the internet. Yep. ALHN is appearing and there's more ALHNs. So that means the network is, uh, we're working. It's connected to the network. So I'm happy about that. That Wi Fi card worked good. It's on 5G right now. So that's good. And there you have it. I'm happy about that. Brought the old Toshiba laptop back to life. Yep. Really nice. That's good. Yeah, because we uh, forgot our RAM, we just flip it over. And we find a door. Here's the, I think this is the compartment here for the RAM, so we take out that screw. Yep. And now we can just pop these out. There's one. There's two. Yep, there's a uh, eight gig total there. Now let's get our new ones. Our new RAM. There's one. There's two. So that's eight gigs each. So that makes 16. There's one. There's two. Let's put the cover back. That's it. Let's flip it back over. Well, there you have it there, folks. I was just wondering. Maybe I should save this old RAM stick just in case, you know? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll just put them back in the pack here. And we'll save them. Yep, that's a good idea. Same with uh, the Wi-Fi card. Yep, we'll save that too. Put that right back in there and we'll save them both. In case you need them, you never know. Anyway guys, that's the end of this one. That's a good upgrade for this old Toshiba laptop. We put a Wi-Fi card in. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz which is the 5g network and then we can see the network and we can connect that's great and we also put in ram memory it makes 16 gigs the max you can put in this old laptop and we also upgrade it to a new battery yep this is the old battery and we put a new one in so we did pretty good for this old laptop so there you have it an easy upgrade for your laptop and get, it, get connected to the new networks that's coming around. Now all I have to do is figure out, here we go. Yeah, I'm not cleaning up, but I sure am thirsty. So maybe I'll have something kind of cold and maybe a little snack. What do you think? That sounds good. See you on the next one.